Let's talk about the digestive system. With any new body system, we like to start with the functions. And the functions of the digestive system actually go in order. We start with ingestion. One of the functions of the digestive system is to ingest food or to get it into our bodies. And our mouth is the main organ involved in ingestion. Once food is ingested, we need to digest it. So digestion is the second function. And there are two types of digestion. We have mechanical digestion, which is simply taking the food and breaking the food into smaller pieces. And of course, our mouth and our teeth and our tongue are involved in this. And so is our stomach. Our stomach does a lot of squishing up of food once we've swallowed it. The other part of digestion is chemical digestion. Chemical digestion refers to actually taking the molecules in the food and breaking them down into smaller molecules. And this process happens through a lot of the digestive system, including in the mouth, where the saliva contains enzymes to break down molecules, and in the stomach, and a lot of it occurring in the small intestine, even into the large intestine. We continue to have some chemical digestion. Once our food has been chemically digested into small enough pieces, we encounter the next function of the digestive system, which is absorption to absorb the nutrients out of the digestive tract and get them into the blood so they can go around to the rest of the body. Most absorption takes place in the small intestine, although we do have some absorption that it can occur in the mouth, in the stomach, and in the large intestine, and even in the rectum. Once we've gotten all the good stuff out of the food through the process of absorption, we get to the next function of the digestive system, which is elimination, or getting rid of the waste. Elimination occurs largely through the actions of the large intestine and the rectum, and the food waste goes out the anus. So those four things all have to happen in order. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, and elimination. The last function of the digestive system that I want you to be aware of doesn't exactly fit into that set. The last one is production of vitamins. Some of the vitamins you need are actually produced by the normal flora in your large intestine. This includes vitamin K. Almost all the vitamin K you need is synthesized by bacteria in your large intestine and also some of the B vitamins. Let's take a look at the structure of the digestive system. We can divide the organs of the digestive system into two main categories. The first being the digestive tract, and the other being the accessory organs. The digestive tract is that one-way tube that the food travels through from when it goes into your mouth until the waste comes out the anus. So that includes um, your mouth, your pharynx or your throat, the esophagus that carries the food down to the stomach, and then into the small intestine, the large intestine, finally into um, the rectum, and out the anus. The different sections or the different organs of our digestive system are separated from each other by a series of valves or sphincters. So the esophagus is separate from the stomach, which is separate from the small intestine, which is separate from the large intestine. Take a minute to think about why we would want to separate these different compartments of the digestive tract. The different areas of the digestive tract are specialized for different functions. And because of that, they need to maintain different conditions. And we separate the different segments of the digestive tract because those conditions don't always work well together. For example, for the stomach to do its job, it maintains a very low pH. Do you want that very low pH to go up into your esophagus? No, that's heartburn and it's not very comfortable. And you don't want that really low pH just spreading down into the small intestine either. So we separate the different segments of the digestive tract. The accessory organs of the digestive system are those organs that are necessary for the digestive system function, and they supply secretions and enzymes to the digestive tract, but the food doesn't actually pass through the accessory organs. These would be things like the salivary glands, and the liver, and the pancreas, um, the gallbladder. These are all accessory organs. Food doesn't pass through them, but they do um, release secretions into the digestive tract to help with digestion of food.